We have another guest coming up, um, a really interesting one, um, uh, Crew May. Now, oh, there we go. Hey. <laughs> How you hey, doing? Hey, <laughs> Hi, Crew May. How are Where you? Where are right? you? <laughs> so I'm actually, uh, I had to come to South Jersey, so I'm actually in South Jersey right now. I'm at a hotel. But I'm like, let me hop, let me hop on. I, I've been listening. Y'all been doing a great job. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I called you Crume. You're Ellis, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, Ellis Blade. I, mean, you I said messed Ellis that up. Okay. I messed that up. I'm so sorry, Ellis. I'm so we're, sorry. We're working out the mistakes, too. I forgive, so. you. I forgive you this time. <laughs> yes, Please. I appreciate it. You're in Jersey. You said um, people always ask, you know, what's what exit when you're talking about Jersey because <laughs> they're talking about the turnpike. Uh, you said South Jersey? Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I'm in South Jersey right now. I'm living in North Jersey, but my parents oh, are up okay. for the weekend. We have uh, my mm -hmm. cousin's funeral this weekend. So like oh, all of the family came that. and, you know, but I was like, let me, yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. It's life, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, tell us about your music and what drew you to Zap Life. So basically what drew me to Zap Life, I actually had a friend that suggested it, like on one of the posts with the whole uh, showcase with Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. So he was like, yo, your, your, your music is hard. You should, you know, submit it to it. So I just started finding out about Zap Life and it's actually like a cool platform. I, I, I like it. I'll definitely be using it more, you know? I'm sure as an artist, this... Uh appeals to you it's it's a way to reach a, a lot more people but also puts you know your content in your control um, definitely which yeah you know which i know is really important to artists it, it's yours it's about you and you took the time and effort and energy to write it and create it um so uh we're glad you were able to find zap life and and join us uh, i want to find out uh more about who you are and your upbringing and and what drove you to become an artist but i i i recognize you're a young man and yeah. i'm really curious how people your age kind of view the news media today um you know tracy and i and a lot of people in the ovis community at oh. ovis.news we used to work for corporate media together with decades of experience, but we saw over the years how it just became worse and worse and worse and less trustworthy and it became more about appeasing the shareholders. So I'm really curious about people your age, about what you think of, of news and, and the problem, if you see one, with fake news and misinformation and disinformation. So really with the news, I was, personally, I get a lot of my news from Twitter which sounds like mad irresponsible, <laughs> but it's true. Because I feel like, like you were saying, a lot of times you see something on TV and you don't really know if you can trust it, you know? But, you know, if your friends are tweeting about it, you're like, okay, this has to be real. Even though we know sometimes it's not. But it's like, to me, I feel more comfortable, like, mm -hmm. looking at others, uh, what's trending and stuff on Twitter. And also, I like to see what people have to say, say about certain news, you know? So mm -hmm. I feel like that's why tw Twitter's cool, because it's like, you get the news, and then you get what people actually think about the news, which makes it entertaining. So it makes like regular boring news entertaining, if that makes sense. <laughs> regular boring. <laughs> <laughs> you well, I'm, with you on the, I'm with you on the, tri uh, the Twitter though, Ellis, because I love it too. And you can get some information from verified sources, you know, mm -hmm. the, the blue check marks. Um, it's a very helpful journalist tool, but I'm curious if you've ever known someone who uh, was the subject of maybe fake news or maybe other artists that you know, or you yourself, uh, uh, the subject of, of somebody spreading misinformation or disinformation about you or friends or loved ones. And, and if so, what was it like? So definitely, it's nothing like major, but definitely there, there are some stories where like some friends that I know say like artists as well, well, basically, it's like somebody takes something and runs with it. So it's basically mm -hmm. something, like say somebody says something. Nowadays, I know that a lot of people don't really want to fact check. If it sounds interesting, it's like, oh, really? Like, oh, word, that's what happened? Mm -hmm. And you want to, I kind of want to tweet about it too. So you're like, uh, or you know what I mean? But I, I'm learning that's the kind of, <laughs> that's the like bad part about, like, say, like a, a Twitter or something like that. Even though you get news quick, 
it's also like it's le there's less time to fact check you know what i mean if it sounds good then like mm -hmm. put it out there you know luckily i personally haven't been a victim of it fingers crossed mm -hmm. you know but yeah it seems like it happens happens to the best of us you know well Definitely. I mean, what we're going to try to do at Ovis.News is try to take that out of the mix. I mean, people shouldn't have to read something and say, I don't know, you know, can I trust this? Uh, at, at this point, you know, after all we've been through, especially during this election cycle, I, I cannot tell you how many times my mother has called to tell me, guess what Trump did? And e even though, you know, Trump may do some outrageous things. Some of these things I know aren't true, <laughs> but she sees them online or she sees them in a publication or something and thinks, and yeah, automatically, no, you know, I mean, have, have you experienced that maybe with your parents or, or anyone like that? So my family is actually from uh, Ghana, West Africa, you know, so that oh. happens like a lot. But the thing is with there, it's more, it's like news overseas news like similar things but it's overseas news like i don't know if you know what's going on in nigeria right now basically with that it's like stuff yeah. like like that so of course some of the stuff is like kind of swept under the rug because it goes back to like people not like trusting like media sometimes it's like a lot of the stuff is kind of like swept under the rug or kind of looked past mm -hmm. you know what i mean so as far as like my family and stuff like that they'd rather or like me like finding out about people like what's going on back home i'd rather like call them versus like try to look up the news because it's like i know i'm not going to get the, the actual truth you know what i mean mm -hmm. now tell me something as a dj it must have been this time during quarantine and with everything going on gosh you, you must have just been dying to have the ability to dj for people i mean we've all been stuck inside our homes i would love to go to a party right now <laughs> yeah. yeah so actually before quarantine i was i'm like actually an artist but i was working as a bartender so that like shut down because being in like that nightlife i'm like bartending in mm -hmm. manhattan so it was, it's been like Oh. Crazy. I ba we basically haven't worked because all the clubs and stuff are shut down. You know, there's like a few places mm -hmm. open, but none of like the actual big places. You know, so it's it's been it's been rough, but I've been trying to hang in there. You know, doing stuff like this, I feel like is very helpful at this time. You know, mm -hmm. just basically, I feel like it's it's helped because it's helped us find like create other creative avenues. You know, especially like for artists who can't like make money from doing a show, it's like you have to find. A, a new way to engage with fans or yeah. even DJ, some of my DJ friends is like they're engaging with fans still by doing like virtual shows. And it's kind of cool mm -hmm. to see how we can like work around that, you know. But of course, mm -hmm. I'd rather have like yeah. the clubs and lounges be open, you know. Of course. Are oh, you sure. going to are you going to play any old school stuff that Elsa and I would recognize or <laughs> <laughs> like I'll 1980s like <laughs> the old rapper's school stuff, yeah. delight? <laughs> <laughs> Rapper's Delight, Sugar Hill Gang, you know. No, we have to put on like some Keith Sweat or something, you know. Yes, oh, Keith Sweat. Okay, okay, okay I'll take <laughs> now that. Now we're talking. Of <laughs> um, um, Ellis, real quick, uh, speaking of performing and your performance tonight, what are you gonna do? Anything special for your fans? You want to tell them right now while you're with us? Any exclusive information or um, really, what is your performance gonna be like tonight? If you don't have anything to uh, exclusive info yet. So basically, I'm um, going to be playing my song called Can't Settle. It's off my uh, EP that just came out called Manhattan Nights. You can get it on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. But it's basically me I, being in the nightlife in the city and basically capturing, like, vibes of that. So I basically, mm -hmm. like, I'm very um, observe. I like, I like to observe a lot. So basically, it's like every song I'm trying to just catch. It's like a, a mixture of emotions and, like, vibes, you know? Like certain feelings, it's like you can't really like describe it, but it's just like you know that feeling, you know. So I try, basically try to mm -hmm. capture that feeling, the nightlife in the city, while like basically a young man in nightlife in the city, from the emotional aspect and also like the other aspect that we all love, you know. That's awesome. what makes you an artist. Well, it sounds <laughs> like so much in. fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, we're definitely going to stick around and and wait for your set. So it was great to meet you. Have have a great night and. Uh, you know, slip in some some Keith Sweat and you know some uh, LL Cool J. Maybe some for us. Tony Tony Tony. Oh, oh we've done it again! Oh my gosh! Yeah, we're 